What is going on guys? It is Tyler here with Coelan Farms and it is day 14 and officially been two weeks of answering his call. So if you're just getting with us or if this is the first time you are seeing me, this is the tiny house that I am building. And unfortunately today we're not gonna be doing much on that. Uh, my order for the trusses wasn't ready until later in the day and it was super hot. By the time I was able to get it unloaded, it just didn't have enough feasible time left in the day to be able to get a decent chunk done. And I have to do the next step in the kombucha for you guys as well so today that is what we are going to do we are going to take what we can harvest back there from our farm and make three different flavored flavors of kombucha So these are all experiments as we haven't done this before. This is our first time, but that's why I'm doing it. So that I can figure out whether these are gonna be good or not so that you don't have to. Now, if you would like to brew your own kombucha, even if it is your just original, if you were to just go to the store and get original kombucha, this is that right here. So if you would like that forever, check out the link right there for the video that shows you how to make your own SCOBY for less than five dollars. And then I have another video that shows you how to brew kombucha with that SCOBY, which is this wonderful concoction there on top that is full of beneficial yeast and bacteria that is amazing for your gut. It is one of the best probiotics that you can drink and it is an awesome replacement for soda because it is naturally carbonated. And over the next four days, we're gonna see how these produce their own carbonation. And on Sunday, we will be doing a taste test of these. So starting from this side, I did two of each of these flavors. So on the far right, we have a mixed berry ginger. So this is strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and then fresh ginger. All of those were harvested from the farm in the backyard this morning. In these two, we have uh, peaches, which is the only thing that was purchased in all of these ingredients and that's just because I don't have a peach tree yet. 
But, so we got peaches, we have dragon egg cucumbers, which was harvested this morning, and we have fresh orange mint, which I harvested this morning as well. Moving down the line, we have a blackberry ginger, using once again blackberries that I harvested here on the farm, ginger that I harvested here on the farm, and then of course we are using our kombucha that we brewed ourselves. But that is it for today guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up so that I can get it edited and get it up for you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow.